Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batul and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. Since we are looking at the file formats and in this video we are going to cover another file format that is MPEG3, MP3 and MPEG4 that is MP4 file format, right? So what this MP, MPEG stands for? MPEG stands for motion pictures pictures expert group right okay now let's move towards uh, mp3 first okay mpeg3 or mp3 format right so this particular format is basically used to store music files, right? The very first and the important thing is that it use it is used to store the music or the sound files. Okay. Second important thing is that it basically not just stores music file, it basically compresses the music file, right? It undergoes the compression, it compresses the music files. To reduce file size right why we do compression we do compression to reduce the file size so that a file can occupy lesser memory space right lesser storage in a computer to store okay the next important thing is that an mp3 file reduces about 90% of a normal music file it reduces 90% of the size right and for example i have a 80 mb song i have a music file that is 80 mb in terms of its size and if i convert it into mp3 right then it is going to have 8 MB of size, right? This is how we say, this is what, that is why we are saying that it reduces the file size by 90%, right? If I have a size of 80 MBs, it is going to have 8 MB when converted into a MP3 file, right? Next is, uh, it uses the files that are being converted into this format are have the extension .mp3, right? This is the particular extension of the files that are converted into this format, right? .mp3. Okay, next is, in order to compress the mp3 files, we go through lossy file compression. What it means? It means that it means that the file is not recovered the original file the original file that is being converted into mp3 file can never be recovered it has been lost so in lossy file compression the original file is lost and you are having another file that is mp3 file in a compressed form right so these are some of the important things or important bullet points for this mp3 file format okay one more thing another that is the most important point among all these that is the compression algorithm that is being used to compress the files in an mp3 format uses perceptual it is called something like perceptual music shaping right this is done using file compression algorithms right the file compressing compression algorithm that is being used in this particular format mp3 format it uses perceptual musical shaping. Now let me tell you what is this 
term stands for it's a concept in which you are not compromising the quality very much what does it means it means that um while compressing the musical files you are removing the sound it just removes the sound that human ear cannot hear here it's a very important concept this means that by using perceptual musical shaping we are retaining the quality of the file how the quality can be retained by the fact that it is removing that sound in the music that cannot be heard by us by the human ear for example i am having a music file that is playing two sounds at the same time right let's suppose it's playing s1 and s2 it's playing two sounds at the same time and this is the louder one and this one is the softer right so what a human ear can hear a human ear is going to hear this louder sound right so you can eliminate this one right why because this is something that is not audible so that's why you can eliminate this so this is how you are going to compress the musical file you are going to eliminate such components that are not audible to the human ear right so this is the concept of perceptual music shaping that is being used inside the compression algorithm of mp3 right so this is how we retains the quality the quality is not compromised much right this is an important thing for mp3 file format right so this is all about mp3 now we are going towards mp4 right okay so now the mp4 file format okay so this particular file format is used to store multimedia files right it uses it stores the multimedia files and compresses the files like these what are multimedia files the files that are having um a collection of photos videos music right so in other words it's a container we can say it's a container format why because it is having everything inside a single file it is having audio having images right having uh, we can say video even subtitles as well sometimes we have subtitles in the videos right so it's a container format that is going to have multiple files file types in a single file you are having all these things in a single file right that has a dot mp4 extension right this particular mp4 file format is going to have dot mp4 extension in order to recognize that okay and again similarly as the mp3 format it is also using the lossy file compression right it is not going to recover the original file instead of that it is going to have another file right it is going to form another file with dot mp4 extension that is in the compressed form okay so it is lossy file compression okay and one uh, benefit of using this mp4 file format is that um it it has a relatively low 
amount of bandwidth it uses a very low amount of bandwidth to transfer or to transmit right so that's why due to this particular reason due to the low amount of bandwidth the videos are esteemed right the videos are being streamed over the internet using this particular mp4 format right this mp4 file format is widely used in internet because of this low amount of bandwidth right so and very important thing as uh, same as mp3 it also uses compression algorithms and here the compression algorithms are more complex why because uh, in order to save the quality to secure the quality it uses more complex algorithms and gives a better quality right so um, this is all about this mp4 file format and i hope both the file formats are clear to you right so thank you so much for watching it and uh, the file formats are almost completed. In the next video, we are going to see the file compression and the type of compressions, right? So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned, stay connected and share this, these videos with other students as well so that we can all study in a very friendly environment, right? Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.